Welcome to video number 23 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahee, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. Promotion is one of the four P's of marketing. The other three P's, product, price, and place, also known as distribution, exert a significant impact on promotion. A company or a destination must create a product worth promoting to a specific market. It must be reasonably priced or it will not generate sustained sales regardless of how much it is promoted. And the product must be placed in the proper distribution channels to reach its intended market. The inverse power of promotion is that you can have the best product in the world, but if nobody knows anything about it, you won't sell any of it. For the purpose of this video, let's focus on promoting a destination. When promoting your destination, you should promote it both to the travel trade and to consumers. When you promote to the travel trade, you're looking for partners whose products will be part of your destination, links to source markets and other destinations, or help in promotion and distribution. For example, a destination might promote its tourism attributes to attract a new hotel or duty-free shop a new airline or additional flights, or media coverage. It might enhance its appeal to tour companies and event planners or to travel agencies which advise clients on interesting places to visit. If you're introducing your destination to a new market, promoting to the trade will jumpstart the distribution system and provide the biggest initial impact. Consumers are the end buyers of travel. They are the paying customers who must become aware of your destination and its attributes and then become convinced it best fits their current needs as well as their constraints in terms of time, money, and energy. Everything a destination does up until this point, from formulating its tourism vision and policy to planning and developing its products, is preparing to capture the interest of certain customers and earn their business. Based on the destination brand and image, it will target specific types of tourists from specific source markets with various messages using multiple promotional tools and platforms. The World Wide Web makes a destination's promotional materials available to people all over the world via internet connections to their computer or smartphone. Webs are home to all types of promotional materials in large volume, ranging from written descriptions, photos, videos, and even live webcams to current festivals and events, sample itineraries, and reservations links. The World Wide Web enables destinations with a small promotional budget, such as an alpine village, to promote directly to prospective tourists or via links to other sites, such as its state or national tourism office. To be effective, the website must be easy to find, understand, and use, and it must load quickly and be updated regularly. Many provide material in several languages to reach multiple international source markets. Prospective tourists and those already on the road have access to an incredible amount of promotional material. Some of the material is information useful to them, and some of it is propaganda useful mainly to their sponsors. Tourists, like most consumers, are tired of trying to figure out which is which. Social media, including blogs, help solve that dilemma. As tourists, we tend to trust and believe other travelers who are mindful and protective of each other. They provide up-to-date information and reviews with no vested interest other than helping other travelers avoid problems they encountered or seeking revenge on places and products that did not live up to their promises. TripAdvisor, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Wayne, Gogglebot, TravBuddy, and Tripatini are among the many social media used for this purpose. Large destinations such as countries, states, and major cities often provide promotional supported gateways within the destination and in their source markets. Welcome centers, also known as tourist information offices, provide advice, maps, and brochures for arriving tourists. Branch offices provide assistance to tourists and pursue partnership opportunities with the tourism trade. General sales agents, GSAs, provide a similar function but are contracted and probably also represent other non-competing destinations and tourism products. Typical activities of branch offices and GSAs are conducting sales seminars, arranging advertising and public relations campaigns, managing media relations, 
making sales calls on travel agencies and tour operators, representing the destination at travel fairs, and handling consumer requests. Whether they are called travel fairs, shows, marts, or markets, these promotional events take place in convention centers all over the world on a regular basis. Some are local or national, while others cover a region of the world or are worldwide in scope. Travel fairs feature the leading suppliers such as airlines, attractions, hotels, rental car companies, and cruise lines, as well as tour operators, national tourism offices, and many other tourism suppliers and support businesses. Companies and organizations set up booths to display their promotional materials and meet with potential buyers. They also often host product seminars in adjacent meeting rooms. Many travel fairs last four days, with the first two days reserved only for the travel trade and the last two days open to both trade and the general public. Familiarization trips, which are also known as FAM tours and inspection tours, are a cost-effective means for a destination to bring members of the distribution channel and media to the destination to gain first-hand experience of its tourism attractions, facilities, and overall appeal. A FAM tour is a whirlwind tour of hotels, restaurants, clubs, museums, parks, and major scenic and historic sites that includes meetings with various executives and managers within the local tourism industry. Upon its conclusion, the expected result is travel agents and tour planners will be more interested in sending tourists to the destination and print and broadcast media will have gained sufficient material to publicize the destination to their respective audiences. Meanwhile, the components of the FAM tour itself are in-kind donations of otherwise unsold airline seats, empty hotel rooms, and free admission tickets provided by the companies expected to benefit from the increased business generated by the familiarization trip. Effective tourism promotion requires a thorough knowledge of the media and excellent relations with it in both domestic and international source markets. Media includes both tourism consumer and trade as well as newspapers, business and general interest publications, TV and internet sites. Price and placement of advertising, use of public relation pieces, frequent mention in relevant news stories, and favorable interviews and broadcast footage are all critical to the success of destination promotion. Destinations compete for media coverage, so updated press kits, press releases, photos, and video clips must be prepared and distributed. In addition, destinations must be able to utilize proper crisis management techniques to avert news that can harm a destination's image and appeal. The purpose of tourism promotion is to create awareness of a destination and stimulate interest in visiting it. The best and cheapest way to do this is by creating satisfied customers and letting the strength and believability of their word-of-mouth advertising help promote your destination. Today that also includes the use of social media. Satisfied customers are repeat and referral customers. They come back again and again and recommend your destination to others, in effect acting as an additional sales force for you. Loyalty programs such as frequent flyers for airline passengers and frequent stayers for hotel guests reward repeat customers. Tourism promotion is a major expenditure the well-planned and executed promotional activities based on thorough research are necessary for a destination to reach its goals. Finding the proper mix of promotional tools and platforms within a destination's annual budget means critical decisions will have to be made in order to succeed in highly competitive source markets. Now I invite you to watch video number 24, Tourism Distribution. Thank you.